again, this is to, for us. This is a very important aspect of the um, of the football club. For us, you know, it's not just about the game anymore. I think everyone realizes that it's not just about coming here for the game. Because the game, you can't control the game. As a club, we can control the experience. Um, you know, you can have, you can do everything, you, everything right, and it can still be a boring nil-nil, or it can be a we lose three nil, and you're always going to walk away not feeling great. But it, as long as we've got the experience right, or we try and get the experience right, um, and and we work hard to get the experience right, is that's what's important in in in, in our eyes. The fans' village. We tried it. I think it proved pretty successful. You know, it, those are the sort of things that, as a club, we have to do. We have to look at how we, how we, um, how we entertain. What do, what experience do we give people? What, you know, what options do you have? As because, again, football clubs have all different options, have all different levels. There's people that just want to come and watch the game, don't want anything. There's people that want to come and have a pie and a pint. There's people that want to come and have a sit down meal. There's people who want to come and be directors and, and in the director's box. So we have to make sure we try and offer all of those solutions. Fun experience for the younger fans. We've got to ensure that we are re, you know, bringing younger fans into the football club you know, all the time. I know sometimes you don't always like the kids screaming sitting next to you. I know, you know we're always going to get it, but, but it's important for us you know, to, to ensure that we're always I don't want to say recycling, that's probably the wrong word, but... but <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Refreshing. Love. Just for bringing younger fans in. Home, home, nurturing, nurturing, good work. Um, we have to... A, a lot of work's going to go into this area. This area is quite important to me, you know, what we do on the match day. Um, I think there are times when, you know, you... you we forget sometimes because you know as, as people involved in the club we forget sometimes how special it is sometimes to have an interaction with a player especially for the younger fans have an interaction with Clarence he's up there for younger fans you know and, and, and for all fans it's you know it's it's kind of good to see Rico there and, and come and say hello you know because he's the, he's the guy that we're watching on a on a Saturday um, afternoon scoring a goal so that's what that's what we're all about, really. We are a football club, after all. We're working hard with Centre Plate, and I have to say, Centre Plate have been great in trying in, in talking about um, improvements and trying to get things better. Um, again, I think it's been a tough relationship because, like anything, if you, your bills aren't getting paid, you're not going to be as motivated as you should be. So, and, and they were pretty upfront with some of that stuff. So, it's again that we're not going to. We're not going to get it right. We're not going to be perfect. We're not going to. You're not going to have the experience that you always want. But we're at least we're going to work hard, and we're going to try and at least try a thing. If they work, they work great. If they don't work, then we move on and try something else. Um, better facilities, better experiences will mean better returns. Therefore, a better team. And that's what it's all about for us. Is if we can increase income and increase revenue, then we'll have a we'll have a better we'll have more money available to put into the team, because that's what it's about in the end. We understand completely, and I, again, I'm, I'm a little old fashioned a little bit, and it's about what happens on the pitch, because that's what gets people excited, that's where the passion, that's where the hope comes. So we've got to make sure that's right. Fans Village, so we'll talk about the Fans Village a little bit. Anybody experience the Fans Village? Yeah, yeah. good. Um, Tried it for the first time, it was possible, and we felt we, we got a relatively positive response. Um, well, I was told we got definitely got a positive response. I was in there earlier, there wasn't that many people in there earlier, but um, I, I was told it filled up quite quite well. And we will continue to make improvements, so what would we like to do? We'd like to put some sort of covering on that. We'd like to make it a bit more permanent. We'd like to get some TVs out there, or outdoor TVs, that kind of stuff. Or, you know, make it a bit more of experience, outdoor table tennis tables, that kind of stuff, you know, creative stuff that, 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 that will get people excited. Um, we're talking to the fan base about suggestions and help in that way, even talking to the trust a little bit about that. Um, and working with the council and centre plate for half time serving of alcohol. It kind of surprised me that one. That, was, that one came out of left field that 
we didn't have a license to, to serve um, alcohol half time. So again, I know the application's gone in and it has to be, unfortunately we can't get a temporary application approved, but we're hoping to get a permanent change by the end of the season.